Hey y'all, it's Farmer Me Ma. Today I'm going to show you how I turn all of those groceries that I buy when they're on sale into an actual menu plan. And it's going to be a menu plan for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And it's also going to include meals for both non-keto, my kids, and keto, me and my husband. So, first let me just say, these I have put down items, different items for every day. And when you're eating a ketogenic diet, what's going to happen is number one, you're probably going to meal prep and eat the same thing for several days in a row. And number two, there are going to be a lot of days when you're just not hungry. There are days when I have my coffee and I may not eat for a while or I may just have a snack in the afternoon. Um, a lot of people on the ketogenic diet choose to intermittent fast or to eat one meal a day and some of them have that as breakfast some of them have that as supper um, it just depends on their preference and so while there is a lot of food listed on this menu plan it isn't necessarily realistic for a ketogenic lifestyle because you're just not going to be as hungry and so you may not eat three meals a day however if you're eating a ketogenic diet to maintain your weight or to gain weight because it is also a way to gain weight if your body needs to gain weight all you do, you eat basically the same type of macros but you raise your calories and that's how you gain weight if you need to likewise lower your calories eating the same macros to lose weight okay so here are some things and i just want to show you how you can eat a ketogenic diet on a budget um, that will work for an entire family if you want to eat three meals a day or not if you want to eat every the same thing every day or not okay so this is what the menu looks like and um, breakfast and lunch has both kid options and keto options and then for supper i actually have two weeks worth of suppers listed and um, the only difference is for the kids we usually add some kind of starch or a vegetable and my husband and i generally eat primarily meat and maybe some broccoli or something like that or a salad now these are all meals that we have the option to eat now with all of the groceries that i have stocked up now these aren't the only things i can make but this is a, a pretty good sample and we can pick and choose from this because i'll tell you um, a lot of the keto options especially for breakfast are things that i tend to batch cook and so one of these will last us probably three or four days or more so keep that in mind this is a lot of food and Especially if you're eating a ketogenic diet, um, a lot of times you'll either be choosing to intermittent fast or you'll just do it naturally because you're not going to be as hungry. A lot of times I have my coffee in the morning and then I'm not really hungry again until late afternoon or even supper time. So let me give you the options that we have in our house right now for, a, for kids breakfast. And again, this isn't everything we have for kids breakfast, but this is some of the things that we make for our kids breakfast. Waffles or blueberry hand pies. I, I, I bought biscuits again, y'all. I'm determined to make those blueberry hand pies. Um, on Monday, we have eggs and sausage. Tuesday, sausage and biscuits and gravy or biscuits and jelly. Um, on Wednesday, they have pancakes. Thursday, eggs and muffins. Friday, fruit and yogurt. And Saturday, cinnamon toast. Sometimes they may have French toast. We tend to make the bigger things on weekends that take more time to make or make a bigger mess in the kitchen. For keto options, eggs and sausage, or eggs and bacon, we're actually, y'all, I usually stay, stay, so, mm, I usually stay stocked up on bacon. Like, I buy it by a 15 pound box at a time, and those have not been on sale lately, and so we just don't have any bacon. But sausage has been on sale, and so right now we're eating a lot of sausage, and that's how I menu plan based on what's on sale. So, anyway, so our keto options, eggs and sausage, Cauliflower oatmeal. Now, y'all know that cauliflower oatmeal will last me several days. And so I can either put it in the freezer or I just eat on it for several days. Um, keto biscuits and gravy. Oh, my goodness, y'all. My husband has perfected a keto biscuit recipe. And it is delicious. Um, keto bagels. Again, that's a fathead bagel recipe. I've made a video on it before. And we use the everything bagel seasoning on it. Oh, my word, y'all. Um, Thursday is a keto waffle or chaffle. 
I honestly prefer um, a recipe that I actually came up with. I've got a video on it, and it uses um, it uses egg and uh, coconut flour, and it is so good. And um, so I eat it a lot of times with butter and syrup, and it tastes like a real waffle, y'all. Um, Friday is chia pudding, and Saturday is a protein shake, or if I make some keto bread and then use either uh, make a um, a keto friendly jam just using fresh fruit and that I cook on a stove and add some sweetener, some pure to it and make like a jam with it, or use pure and cinnamon and clove, y'all. I love me some clove sugar um, and eat it like cinnamon toast. And then for lunch for the kids, they usually have a ham sandwich or a bologna sandwich and some chips, spaghetti and ravioli, y'all. Um, one or the other, not both. Um, one son usually gets like spaghettios and the other one usually likes ravioli. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or they just do peanut butter and jelly in a bowl with some goldfish, chicken sandwiches. Um, on Wednesday, Thursday, going back to the spaghetti or ravioli or Vienna sausages or a hot dog. I don't have that written down, but those are all things that they could have. Um, on Friday, chicken nuggets with yogurt and fruit. And then on Saturday, ham. If you remember, I bought that big ham that I was going to dice up and my son, well, one of my sons in particular, loves cubed ham. And so making some of that with some fruit on Saturday. And, and keep in mind that they are homeschooled, so they snack during the day as well. And so sometimes they're not as hungry for lunch. Um, and then for the keto options for lunch, chaffle pizza. This is actually another one of those recipes that I came up with and tweaked. And it is so good because the chaffle is actually just a keto bread cooked in the waffle maker, the dash mini, and then I put the sauce and the cheese and pepperoni if I want pepperoni. It is so good, y'all. You have to add the Italian spice and stuff to it. Anyway, and so Monday, uh, tuna salad, I guess is what you call it, tuna egg, pickle, and mayo with some pork rinds. On Tuesday, a salad. Wednesday, chicken salad. And I'm thinking chicken salad with like bacon and mayo and some cheese. Um, on Thursday, chicken roll-ups with pickle and did I say chicken? Turkey roll-ups. Turkey is just like sliced deli turkey, and then you put mayonnaise on it and roll it up, and you can roll it around a pickle if you want it with the pickle inside. Um, on Friday, deviled eggs or any leftovers that we have, and on Saturday, ham and cheese sticks, or a cheese stick. Um, and then finally, let me talk about supper, because the kids and us, we intermittent fast, and a lot of times we don't eat supper, and so the kids, it'll be primarily the kids eating supper. Um, however, I have kind of flip-flopped, and when I eat, I tend to, I'm starting to eat more at night instead of the morning because it just works better with my appetite because I'm not hungry in the mornings, but I'm really hungry at night, and so if I get all of my calories in in the morning and then I'm craving at night, it's kind of a bummer, but if I just don't eat during the day because I'm generally not hungry, and then I can eat at night and not have to worry about it. But I do have my coffee, and so technically I'm not really intermittent fasting yet. Um, but anyway, so when we cook... Um, supper, when we're eating all together as a family, um, the difference in the kids' supper and our supper is usually that they will have some kind of bread, like a biscuit or a roll, or they may have potatoes or corn or peas or something like that that we don't have. So, Sunday, we have shrimp. This is one of those recipes I've got to get my husband to make for y'all because it is amazing. Um, roast and this is a beef roast like I bought when it was on sale. And sometimes we cook them in the rotisserie and sometimes we cook them um, in the crock pot. It just depends on whether I remember to get it out earlier that day um, or if we just want to have it. You know, it takes a lot less time to cook on the rotisserie. Um, and then Taco Tuesday, pulled pork on Wednesday. And the boys would have french fries because they would have a pulled pork sandwich. And I would eat mine with broccoli. And we use G. Hughes uh what do you call it? G. Hughes barbecue sauce. It's sugar-free. Um, and then on Thursday, we have the chicken, bacon, and broccoli Alfredo bake, and it is so good. That was something that I just I just wanted to throw together one day, and, and we served it at my um, son and daughter-in-law's reception, wedding reception type thing. There, it was really kind of a going away party, um, because they were about to leave for Texas, and. We made a, I just threw together some ingredients and popped it in the oven, and it was the favorite of the whole place. Everybody wanted the recipe. So that's what that is. And then on Friday, um, burgers, the kids will have fries and obviously a burger on a bun. My husband and I have bunless burgers with cheese and like mayo or mustard or whatever. And then I may have broccoli if I'm still hungry. And then Saturday, we those pork butts, we usually smoke them at the same time. 
and then we finish them off in the oven and then just shred them and put them in a serving size for one meal because we usually get one roast I think usually gives us four meals and so we'll bag those up into Ziploc bags and put those in the freezer and then we just get them out anytime we're ready to have pulled pork all we have to do is thaw it out and warm it up on the stove and add barbecue sauce so and um, we'll have smoked pork and potato salad on Saturday and then let's go back and it, then another week's worth would be a chub and I've talked about putting a chunk of ground beef frozen into my crock pot as it is you don't thaw the meat out you don't um, work the meat in any way you don't mix anything into the meat all you do is put it in the crock pot with some uh, some chicken broth and then the spices that you like we usually add salt pepper garlic and some liquid smoke some Worcestershire sauce maybe some soy sauce or liquid aminos and just cook it like that and it is amazing it is tender it is juicy because you haven't worked the meat it doesn't get tough and so we have that um and then roast chicken i bought a chicken recently in one of those holes and like a whole chicken and i'm going to roast it and then use the bones to make broth tuesday we will have fried rice and stir fry you know anytime we have anything like pork chops or um roast beef like if we take that one of those beef roasts and cook it on the rotisserie um, we will use the leftover meat in stir fry and it is so good especially with the rice cauliflower as as the fried rice element oh my gosh y'all my mouth's watering talking about it and then on wednesday night would be pizza a lot of times the kids will will do quick pizzas with tortillas and um, that the kids will bake in our little toaster oven or we can have keto pizza that is made with fat head dough that is my favorite fat head dough and then and we can do alfredo pizza with like chicken and bacon and alfredo sauce and mozzarella or we can do just the basic pepperoni pizza toppings um thursday is diy chicken strips this is another one of those things i gotta get my husband on camera cooking and he makes a version for the kids that is battered in cornflakes and he does a keto version that is battered in um crushed pork rinds oh my word those are so good um and of course friday night we have meatballs and we can all eat the same thing um because we just have meatballs and sauce we don't do pasta um, and then saturday night is chili night and we make a big batch of chili we use flax meal to thicken it and so it doesn't affect the texture it doesn't affect the flavor and it thickens it so nicely and it adds a little bit of fiber and omega-3s to our chili now when we have chili that usually becomes my lunch for a few days and my husband takes it to work also. Um, but not only that, the next day we can have chili, the kids can have chili dogs or we can have um, like what we usually do if we're having hot dogs, we cook them on a cast iron skillet and then just pour chili over them and then top them with cheese. And if you wanted to put onions on them or something like that, you could, we don't do onions. But yeah, so that is two weeks worth of suppers and then down at the very bottom I've listed snacks and because we do snack um and so down in the snack section for keto snacks boiled eggs y'all know we've got a lot of eggs um and then uh cheese cheese sticks pepperoni if I'm wanting something sweet I may do like a little bit of peanut butter and whip it up in some whipped cream or some heavy cream and have that um and then I may have fruit yogurt like greek yogurt and sometimes i'll eat fruit with sour cream with a touch of sweetener oh my gosh that's one of my favorite decadent and you know it's keto friendly still um options there um and then the kids have pudding and jello i can have it if it's sugar free jello i don't do pudding um and so those are some snack options and of course my kids especially my youngest he loves boiled eggs he will eat I mean, even from the time he was two, he could eat, he wouldn't eat the yolk, so he was only eating egg whites, but he would literally eat six eggs, like 12 egg whites, and we cut them in half, um, and so that boy loves some egg whites, and so he eats those for snacks, he eats those for breakfast, he'll eat those as a side of his lunch, he used to take them in his lunch box at, to school, so anyway, there is um, one possible menu plan for all of the foods, and it, again, I've got so much more food in my freezer than this covers, but this gives you an idea that we have enough um, for lots of options, whatever we're in the mood for. And then as we eat those, the next thing further down on the freezer, you know, I open the freezer and whatever is on top, I menu plan for that. And then when the top layer is gone, I go in and it's time for another menu plan. I open my freezer and because we, you know, we stocked up and now we're using what we've got. Um, I open up the freezer and look and see what we've got and base my next menu plan based on what's in there now.
what's left after we've made everything that we pulled out for this past week. So that's how I menu plan. Let me know in the comments below. Do you shop and then menu plan or do you menu plan and then go shopping to buy what you need for that week's menu? So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye y'all.